Hello everyone, Chris Campbell here in the clock shop this evening. Uh, next up on the bench we have a fossil uh, watch that the customer um, wanted to have completely reserviced, which we did. Um, I cleaned the movement, uh, put in a new battery, um, tested everything on our digital uh, quartz movement test stand, and we serviced it, we put the hands back on, we also cleaned the dial, and it's working good. The next step that we're going to do is the customer had broken the stem and there was no stem or crown. And we're also going to be replacing the band. He wanted a navy blue band. But first we're going to clean the crystal. And I'm just using a piece of um, tissue paper that has a little bit of poly watch on it to clean the crystal. And that'll give it a good uh, shine. Right, that looks crystal clear. Perfect. So, what we're going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and remove the bands. So, I'm just going to pop and get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and get rid of those. So now we have a clean crystal, we have our back and our watch movement. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and set it up for the new crystal, or I'm sorry, the new stem. And we want to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. This is going to take some fitting. And so what we have here are two different parts that I have ordered. The first part is a 065-541 stem, which is a 10 tap. And the next one is a 900.060.04 stem extender. Because the original stem for these are a little bit short and it needs to be a certain depth. Okay. <clears throat> So we have our stem, which is here, and this is the correct contour, and then we have our stem extender, which is also here. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and thread, we're just loose fitting at this time, we're not going to be um, locking it in place yet. So I'm going to slowly extend. And lock it into place. Okay. So this is what it looks like before the work. Now what we're going to do is see how much we need to remove or trim. And so we're going to push it in. back it out a little bit and I'm going to hold the movement so that I can see if it works there we go okay so that does work the hands perfect okay now what I need to do is mark how much we need to remove And so for this, I'm going to use my dial calipers. <clears throat> so right now, from the movement to the stem is 24.5 millimeters. All right, so I'm going to write that down. And we have exactly 6.5 millimeters sticking out. All right, so let's see the crown that we're going to be using. The customer wanted to go with a gold crown. So this is a 10 millimeter tap. So we'll go with this one. And we'll 
Foda. So between the maximum overall depth of the crown is 8.5 millimeters and the crown is actually 2 millimeters even. I'm going to write this down. Alright, so now we're going to back the crown off. Make sure everything is locked in place. And what I like to do is measure twice, cut once. All right. So now what we're going to do is remove the crown once again. And we're going to trim right there. Okay. Now we're going to put the crown onto the stem. And these are kind of hard to get a hold of because we are dealing with tiny parts. There we go. Uh, I'm going to pause it for a second and come right back. All right, so we're back. Now we're going to retest it. Alright, so we're still good ways to go. I'm going to back it out just a little bit and test the functionality. Alright, so we still have function of the hands. That's good. So now we're going to back it out once again and make some more measurements and cut. This is all trial and fit because you do not want to cut more than what you have. Because if you do that, then you're surely going to ruin the movement all right so we're gonna go just a little bit deeper <clears throat> and we're gonna line this up here just like so all right once again we're gonna test fit it's all about trial and error when you're working with any type of watch. All right, we're still a good millimeter or two away. Let's see here. Five point two. Okay. <clears throat> we're getting close. Back that out a little bit more. Remove the other piece. So 1.2 millimeters would be there. Let's hope that's got it this time. So now we're going to back it out here. And that is perfect. Okay. 
it does lock that is what we want now we're going to go ahead and finish the installation so we're going to go ahead and place our movement holder in place <clears throat> and our watch back and we'll turn it this way I like it to be even all right there we go so we have a nice clean watch we can now set the time and I'm going to um, take it back apart here in a few minutes and put some Loctite on the threads. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and put in our bands before we do that. So the customer wanted navy blue bands. So we'll put this one on here. And pop that one into place. Go ahead and look. Alright. And there we have it. A beautiful fossil watch. That is now ready for the customer to pick up and we'll go ahead and set the time and get it ready for the customer and deliver. If you have any clock or antique watch that you need repair, come see me at Campbell's Antique Clock and Watch Repair of Anderson, South Carolina. Where we'll get your clock or watch back in time in no time flat. Have a wonderful evening.